This is an R tutorial. Got two minutes? Learn some statistical programming in R. It's easy, free, and fun. This tutorial how to write a for, while, or repeat loop with the break and next commands. Break and next are called flow control commands. Think of yourself like an engineer overlooking the Hoover Dam. Awesome. When you're telling your computer to run commands over and over again, you're going to want those commands to divert, or rerun, or repeat according to different patterns depending on what you're doing. Here's how they work. Here's a simple for loop. If this doesn't make sense to you, check out the tutorial titled How to Build a For Loop in R, then get back here. All right, now we're going to add a logical test. Check out the tutorial titled How to Create a Logical Test and Build an If Statement in R if this if statement over here doesn't make sense to you. It's going to hit 2 and do something special. See 1, 2, then something special, then 3. All right, now we're going to, instead of printing some weird stuff to the screen, we're going to hit this next, we're going to create this next command in the middle of this loop. So it sets i to 1, and then it doesn't accept this, so it prints i to the screen. It sets i to 2, it does accept this, so it goes to this next command, and it skips to the end of the current iteration, and then starts the iteration again with i set to 3, and then it prints i to the screen. That's why 2 did not get printed to the screen for this for loop. The break command works in a similar way, only instead of jumping to the next iteration, it completely ends the loop. So here, the loop sets i to 1, then the if command returns false, and it prints i to the screen. Then it sets i to 2, the if command here returns true, so it goes into this break, it runs this break, and it stops the loop entirely. Magic. Break and nest commands work inside while loops as well. If you're unfamiliar with while loops, check the tutorial titled How to Create and Nest a While Loop in R, okay? Looky here. Set i to 1, run the while loop, and it i terminates when it reaches 4. But uh-oh, this if command returned true when i reached 3, so it got into this break command and stopped prematurely. When it hits the break command, the loop is over. Game over. Finally, the repeat loop. This is a kind of weird loop that doesn't get often... F but, hey, no, you know, you should know about it. Basically, all of the commands get executed over and over again until it hits a break command. If it never hits a break command, it will run forever and ever until the end of time in an infinite loop. Luckily, this loop will only repeat until i equals 6, at which point this if statement will return true, and it'll hit this break command. So it ends. This has been a work of all...